three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Antares with the Dwarf three mission to bring Cygnus on its third CRS mission to the ISS. Got main engines at 108%. Avionics power to nominal. nominal. that trouble may develop with the Atlas or the Redstone during the countdown or during the takeoff is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. This booster was not a Mercury vehicle, but imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut, that his capsule is now mounted on top of this Atlas. The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster. Décollage. Thirty-seven seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. According to plan for some distance. During this time, the missile was stable in pitch, yaw, and roll. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. And shortly thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. Nearly all critical components were recovered. These parts and data radioed to the ground during flight were studied to isolate the exact cause. One in five Titan rockets fail. Tough odds if you're a rocket man. Eight, seven, six, six five, 
four, three, two, one. Ignition sequence start and liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, adding to the International Space Station access for future American rockets. And Falcon has cleared the tower. Vehicles programming downrange. Stage one propulsion is active. Power to mission nominal. Power to mission remain nominal. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes. Altitude 32 kilometers. Speed one kilometer per second. Downrange distance 13 kilometers. Teddy coming back shows vehicle on course on track. Космический корабль выведет на орбиту три спутника российской навигационной системы ГЛОНАСС. По плану это произойдет примерно через 4 часа после старта. И вот старт. Здравствуйте, Но что-то, кажется, идет не так. Что-то не так. Кажется, это будет катастрофа. И вот ракета направляется к Земле и распадается в воздухе. И взрыв. Итак, прямо в прямом эфире состоялся неудачный запуск ракеты «Протон-М» с тремя спутниками российской навигационной системы «ГЛОНАСС» на борту. В воздух вбивается... Клубы черного дыма.